Another interesting way to uh, create your real 3D object from virtual 3D model from this head is this in centimeter. This technique is folded panel. It's called origami. Simple. And as you can see, it's it's a powerful tool for creating origami. <clears throat> and if you double click here, you can see this. You can uh, fold it to your material and, for example, connect this part. As you can see, it tells you connect one to one, this to this. It's exactly tell you uh, which numbers do you want to connect. It's very simple. Two to two, two to two, <laughs> and you can connect them. Very simple. These parts are joint, are joint type that I explained it there. First, uh, you can optimize your panel. Uh, you can change the vertex count or face count here. Uh, in some cases, it's a turn off. You can change the vertex count. If you increase or decrease them, for example, a higher number, we have more faces and uh, better quality of your origami. You have to ch um, change this number to correct that issues. <clears throat> And you can undo that. And a split panel. And as we can see, they're all connecting to each other. And this part tells you, okay, from this angle, <clears throat> lines, you have to fold them. You can split them if you want. And as you can see, we have a lot of split uh, parts that you can connect them to each other. With the number that it tells, number one. It gives you a number that you can begin from then one to three and then go up. If you have hard material, you can use them. But it's a, uh, if it's a, a soft material, uh, you can, <clears throat> for example, paper, it's very hard to fold something. So I don't want to, we can turn it off. Add or remove seams. If you click here, as you can see, this, 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 um blues line uh, dark blues tells okay from these points for example these are seams line these are these lines the border lines that the uh, they're folding your paper or your material and then connect them uh, in this part that you can change them but do it carefully for example you want to add a, another seam here nice and as you can see, you add a seam here. And you have to make done. And as you can see, this 2D is uh, changing. And we have a separate uh, Iceland here. That's it. This is, I think, um, it's the one, number one, uh, one of these. So, for example, if you want to separate, or you can click to remove that. So, if you want to, for example, make the ear separately, you can add 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 here and then remove remove and remove there i don't want to be seen there add and as you can see we separate the ear and you can do done now as you can see we have a separated ear in number six this is our ear that's separated it's in this situation you can uh create your model better okay it's very simple so you add the remove seams <clears throat> another part that you can choose them is here join type that the diamond mode the diamond mode is this it's very simple you can uh these are diamond modes for example these three parts have to join together and you can snap them together this is a diamond joint you can choose different mode as you desire. For example, the gear mode, it's, uh, it does not, all of them does not work in any object. You have to choose them carefully. Gear mode, it is something like this. It's an object. In this, some cases, it does not work well. It's a gear mode. Laced mode, that is work in some situations. That, as you can see, it's create a hole that, uh, for example, here. 
you can as you can see because of the radius if you select them be careful about the object here that you can change the settings a uh, whole radius mm, it's very hard you can make the smaller hole oh be careful about the numbers smaller hole in centimeter or millimeter for example change it to the millimeter one millimeter or change them okay this is and uh, these are holes um spacing between them you can change the spacing between them be careful about that tick radius we can change the uh, the radius from the edge you can change them if you want <clears throat> for example uh if you choose the gear also we have a lot of settings you can change it in millimeter to better understanding tooth radius tick spacing to scale look at this image here you can change the tooth radius as you can see it's a tooth radius from here so you can make this change these tweets this is tick spacing you can change the spacing between these ticks you can change the tooth scale this is unlike a gear going cutting and going up it's like a gear mode that you can connect them to each other and to tooth scale this is <clears throat> the red line is a uh, original shape and it creates a uh, additional thing additional material from the original object and then you can connect for example you can connect this gear to that mts space it's a gear mode simple and then you can change all of the settings another poor lace that you can change multi-tap you can experiment and experiment them in some situation it's a multi-tap multi-tap mode that you can change its settings radios joint spacing and other settings uh, look at this image this is antique tick radius you can make it uh, longer over tap a fraction we can see it's make it uh, wider we can change the tap fabrication or a fraction or laced or puzzle mode you can see it's better here it does not work in uh, any <coughs> mode as you can see it's a puzzle mode you can connect them for example this go to the, that part this go to that part it's very simple be careful about that you have to change its settings and sometimes uh, we need uh, smaller situation smaller parts as you can see this is in puzzle mode it's going in this direction rivet mode a different mode that you can use because our objects are a small and in the rivet mode we have the whole radius you can make them <clears throat> smaller than or joint spacing oh it's very high you can make it a smaller or tick radius make them smaller it's better seeing that something like this it has a hole also a gear with mod seam line it's nice because you just have a seam that it tells you okay you can snap them in this part it does not mm, create any uh, the seam line actually mm, it's nice uh because this is the method that we using in sewing closest that we have a seam that we sewing uh the classes together with this this is uh, this is our original uh part that it tells you okay seven to seven we have to find it six to six we have to uh, find it there it's nine, nine it's on the line nine and you have to sewing or snapping these seams together it's the seam i like it because if you have a fabric you want to use this folded panel you can use them and sewing 
this part together. And this is additional part. This is our original, the roulette run original, and that's all. The tab is also interesting that you can see it here. Uh, I think make the millimeter to better understanding them. Make them smaller because our objects are too small, you cannot see. It's very, as you can see, we have some issues here in this tab mode. Better thing than look at this image. And close that. This is on tab mode. For example, this part, additional part, is going to the, this uh, box, empty box here, and lock. This is in tab mode that you can use. And another mode, tick mode, tongue mode. This is an antique mode, it's like a seam, but with the numbers. Nice. And tongue mode. Yeah, it has a tongue that's go in these three empty box. Empty space. It's going from this and going up, going down, it's folding in this direction. Nice. You can lock them in this way and change its radius or something that you want. It's based on your object. And after that, you can export your desired output in the XF PDF and done. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.